Sony A6500 has a built-in 5-axis stabilization system, which may absorb vibrations. Let's have a look at this new feature. You can see, when we turn off the 5-axis stabilization, the frame shakes a lot while handheld shooting. It is more obvious when slowed down. It's not good for shooting. But after we turn on the 5-axis stabilization, some of the vibration and bounces can be absorbed through the CMOS, which is good for steady footage. However, this is a millimeter scale correction that may not avoid shaking caused by the user's steps. For a better result, we did the test with the Nebula 4100. Nebula 4100 3-axis stabilizer can help us absorb high and low frequency vibrations. With its centimeter scale correction, the footage becomes stable while walking. Now let's turn on the 5-axis stabilization and you can see we get better results. But still, there are vibrations which cannot be avoided under the millimeter scale correction. Now let's mount the camera onto the Nebula 4200 and try again. Based on the 3-axis stabilization, a spring arm is added. It's just like the suspension system on a vehicle, which isolates bumps and sways, and it's perfect for capturing motion shots. And now, if we turn on the 5-axis stabilization, you will have a double 5-axis effect for a smooth and steady experience in all aspects. In other words, 5-axis stabilizer can solve the wild sway while the little bounces are corrected by the built-in stabilization system as the second level buffering effect couples together with the first level. That's why when you turn on the 5-axis stabilization, you can get stable footage within a small difference of viewers' feeling and vision. 